All right, today we are going to be driving around three properties in Costa Mesa that I co-own with partners. And I thought it'd be good, I'm just gonna go by and check on each property, but I thought it'd be good to shoot a video and share some of the details on each property and what the ownership is doing with the assets. So let's pop out and go take a look at the first building. All right, so here at the first building, this is 19 units on 18th Street in Costa Mesa. We brokered this transaction for the buyer that acquired it back in early 2019. They were selling a property in Santa Ana. They wanted to get closer to the beach and improve location. And this was a great fit. There was an opportunity to co-invest in the, the asset and I jumped on the opportunity. It was perfect timing for me. Uh, and here's the reasons why I did it. Number one, this was a great location that I believed in. And number two, the person that I was investing with is a great person and a great operator. So you couple those two opportunities together and you'll most likely have a very successful outcome. And I've been happy as a clam ever since. So we've now been in this deal 19, 20, this is about three years now that we have been in this asset. So the first couple things the ownership did was improve the rent roll. You've got a good mix of one bedroom units here, which are very popular in Costa Mesa. And then you also towards the back are townhouse style floor plans. And what the ownership did was put new paint on the property. They got a brand new paint scheme, really modernized it. It looks great. Slurry coated everything. Um, there was a lot of different kind of drainage uh, things going on with the property. The new ownership really got the gutter system going, the, the water to get out to the street. That was, I remember recalling as I'm walking through the building, I remember that being an item we had to fix. Um, but it's just over the years, the property has just gotten better. The location has just gotten better. And, and as a partner, we benefited from that. We got laundry rooms over there. Of course, this really cool, like mid-century modern, great color scheme. We take a look at the doors keyless entry, nice lighting and signage package. Got a pool here. There used to be a bunch of palm trees up. They canceled those out, really cleaned it up. Very low maintenance property. It's just got a great look to it. And again, 19 units is really hard to find. That's a good size building in, in Costa Mesa. So since then, this ownership has been able to grow and buy more, more units in the submarket. That's the update on this property. On to the second one. All right, we are now here at the second property. This is 10 units on Wallace that we brokered back in 2016. And it was a similar situation where an investor wanted to buy the property. There was an opportunity to co-invest. We acquired the asset for a little under $2.4 million, which is just under 240,000 per unit for 10 units. And this is in Westside Costa Mesa. What's nice about this property is it's seventies product all two bedrooms, nine of the units are two bedroom, one and a half bath, townhouse style floor plans. You're gated, you've got access off two different streets and there's parking on both sides, tons of parking, which is really desirable. And then also a great opportunity to raise rents. So since we purchased this property uh, and I co-invested in it, um, this has been great because again, it was in a market that I that I believed in, a property I believed in, and another great owner operator that I could co-invest with. And since then, it's been 100% passive for me. And then this investor has improved the rent roll. They've also improved the property. We've done two refinances now and pretty much got 75% approximately of our initial investment back. And then I wanna take you through the building and go to the back where we're looking to build an ADU. So come on through. These are all the townhouse units. They're about 950 square feet each. And then just up here, up the stairs is a two bedroom, two bath unit. That's much bigger. We painted, we updated some landscaping. Not, not a ton of capex was spent. It was mostly done on the interiors. And then here's the back side of the building where you've got another, I believe it's 10 parking spaces approximately. And what's nice about this, when we bought it in 2016, it just came with this extra lot in the back. But now they have the new ADU laws. We're trying to get one ADU permitted here and we're in the process of that right now. But here's this open piece of land. We can build one, we're trying to get approved, one detached two bedroom, one bath accessory dwelling unit. And it's a great little space for it. Detached, there's a few that just got approved over here. Actually, let's go through it. Those are accessory dwelling units right there. What we're trying to do is get one of those approved for this lot. 
And if we do, that's a great opportunity. Um, so we're working through that. We also plan to where maybe we can exchange this into a bigger property, go from like six, go from 10 units to maybe 16 or 20 units or couple it into a larger building. Uh, either way, we want to continue to keep growing, uh, but this one's been good. This area, uh, I still love Costa Mesa. This is about the same, the area is about the same as it was when we bought it, what was it, seven years ago? So it hasn't improved that much. The rents have continued to keep improving. So it'll be a, still a good long-term hold. It's just be great to get some economies of scale and get to a little bit bigger property. But that's this one right here. And then now let's go over to the third property. All right, we're here at the third property. This is 14 units in Costa Mesa on Wilson. This property was just acquired about 12 months ago within a partnership where we put together the investor and we co-invested in the property. Again, it was another great opportunity to co-invest into a good piece of real estate with a good value add story. We acquired this property for under 300,000 per unit and we have gone through about half the units, updated the interiors and bringing the rent roll up We've repainted, we've kind of cleaned this property up. And again, this one, good size property, 14 units, Costa Mesa, gave it a new look. It was really tired, had a tired color to it. And we're just giving a better quality product to the residents. So let's go take a look. We're gonna pop into a couple of units that we have vacant that we're turning right now. All right, we just got the keys to this unit that just moved out. Let's go take a look inside. This is a two bedroom, one bath unit. We are going to rent this for $2,500 a month. Uh, we're gonna go in and do everything. This has got a great little feel to it. These, these higher ceilings, a little bit of a vault to them. It's, I believe this is tongue and groove and it's got a great little coastal feel to it. We're gonna go in, all new plank, new kitchen. As you can see, this is uh, pretty old and dated but all the windows, all the sliders, everything has already been redone when we painted the building, we changed out everything. So all we have to do is come in and handle the interior. And we'll put in AC into both bedrooms. We'll update the bathroom here. All this is gonna get demoed out. And just one thing to mention, this window here, there's only windows we didn't change within the bathroom. We're gonna get put a new enclosure in and that'll go all the way up as high as we can. We don't like these lower windows because water gets in there. We wanna have the water get down the drain, not into the side of the wall. So we'll run a fiberglass enclosure this high and then we'll do a new window up top. So that's definitely something we do on every turn. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the bedrooms. We'll do the window AC in here and just update everything, freshen it up. All new doors, all new hardware, cabinet faces, make sure everything closes nicely. Uh, but this is it. So this will go for 2,500 and the rent roll is just improving. When we purchased the property, we didn't get much of a loan on it because the rent roll was so low. So we have went in and updated the rent roll here and we'll probably do a cash out refinance and get close to 75 to 80% depending of our initial investment back out of the property and then hold and continue to keep improving and provide again, a better quality product for the, for the resident. Um, but that's pretty much the update on the property tours today. These are three properties that I own in partnership and partnerships can be a great way to co-invest. I am open to doing co-investment deals as an LP because what's great as an LP, you get your time back, you're not executing the business plan. And then I'm also open to doing partnership deals while I'm the general partner or I'm co-investing as a co-GP and where we're executing the business plan together. But I just think being open to good partnerships with the right operators and then also within the right properties, that can be a great opportunity to uh, create a great return on your money and uh, build some wealth. So thanks so much for watching this video. We'll continue to keep put, putting good information out into the marketplace. Thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.